Greetings and welcome to Nimbatus, the Space Drone Constructor. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really pleased to be playing this game, which is by Strayfon Studio. Thank you so very much for the key, by the way. They are the same studio who brought us Niche, the genetic survival game. Um, this game is completely different. This is really, really interesting. I've had a chance to play this a little bit. And if you've played Cosmeteer, it's very similar to that because what you're doing is you are making a space drone, uh, kind of a destructible thing, um, out of parts and pieces, and, but it also has the ability to be programmed with various sensors and logic gates and things like that. So it's really kind of a very interesting game. Right now, I want to tell you, first of all, it's on Kickstarter and there's a free demo so you can try it out for yourself. All right, with that all said, let's start the game. All right, let's start a new game file. And here we go. All right, this is an early preview demo. There are lots of unfinished and missing features and bugs, but it should give you a good glimpse of what the game is about. High scores are not working yet as they require steam. Let's continue. So we start off with the planet Cumi. Uh, there is a large, large galaxy around here. Um, there are a few other items here. We've got a sumo training center, a scrapyard, and a battle arena. So let's just explore our planet for this particular... Let's go, uh, can I just go back to Kumi? Yeah, that's right. That's where we want to go. Right. We want to visit our planet here. Now, the planet Kumi is 314 meters in diameter. Resource amount is low. Gravity is normal. Air resistance normal. And risk level is low. <clears throat> These particular items are very, very important because they will show us how to build our spaceship, for example, um, or our drone. If the gravity is high, you may need extra thrusters and things like that. So, you know, keep pay attention to these particular items. Now, our mission to destroy the transmitter. And when we do that, we are going to get nearby locations explored. If we destroy the hives, we are going to get a rare weapon. So I want to do both of these missions. So let's go ahead and select our drone. At the moment, we don't have any. So let's create a new one. Um, there is a short tutorial here about how to create things just in general. Um, it just tells you exactly how to place things and the way to do them. It's very, very intuitive, the interface. So um, I, I had no trouble with things, which is kind of kind of cool. Uh, you can also use uh, sensor parts and logic gates and things. It's pretty darn cool. Ooh, is this a new page? No, it's probably not a new page. Probably I just forgot about it. Um, but they tell you kind of how to build basic things. Like a basic drone is going to be um, like this. We have the core and we're going to have uh, our forward and backward motion. These uh, letters in the, uh, what should we call it, brackets, those indicates key presses because yes, you can actually assign different components to have different key presses on your keyboard. So this is telling us the drone is going forward by pressing W. There's a, you can see the slight arrow here. Uh, and then S will go backward. Those are thrusters there. And A is to go left and D is to go right. Um, and then we have a winged drone. We've got a stabilized four-way drone like this. Uh, and then autonomously evading drone, which sounds pretty darn cool, I have to say. Okay, so we're just going to build a basic drone to start off with. Um, and this, the arrow, like I said, shows us where uh, we want to go forward with. We're going to have to assign our engines uh, accordingly. So we have a various parts in here. We've got thrusters, we have batteries, fuel tanks, shields, uh, mechanical parts like a decoupler, motorized hinge, free hinge, uh, weapons. There are many weapons in the game. And these are not all the weapons in the game because I, um, when I was playing, I completed one of the levels and I was given a brand new weapon, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, so the game definitely has progress. These are not all the weapons. So you kind of have to progress in the game to get more. Sensors. We have a directional sensor. We've got speed sensors and we have distance sensors. Uh, now we have uh, logic parts. Those are buttons, if gates, not gates, and, ors, switch, uh, logic connectors, uh, logic splitters, and an impulse giver. 
right? I can imagine that everyone who has fun with programming stuff, if you like autonauts, if you like Factorio Combinators, I think this, this might be fun to play with for sure. All right, so we're just gonna build something quite simple initially. Now, fuel tanks have, um, they provide fuel for thrusters and batteries provide the energy for weapons generally. So what we have here is we have different um, varieties of tanks. As you can see, they have different refill amounts as well. Uh, which is kind of cool. It's kind of funky. You can see the smallest one has uh, the smallest amount of fuel. It has 50 fuel, but refills at uh, 15 per second, which is a lot. That's the most, in fact, of all of them. The large one holds 200 fuel, but refills at only 10 per second. And the big fuel tank holds 500 fuel. So this is like an emergency thing, I would guess. Refills at zero per second. So this takes up the most space, but also refills at zero per second. So don't just assume when you put these things together that the bigger is better. So I think we probably are gonna to want to Put in some small tanks uh, here once we look at our thrusters. Now there are several different thrusters. We've got um, these guys small thrusters and regular thrusters and it tells you how much force it generates uh, and how many fuel per second it consumes. Like this one consumes eight per second. Uh, jump thruster, um, I that's like a charged thruster, uh, it says there, and force of 40, whereas this is a force of 30, and it's kind of like a boost thing. You could assign a different key for that to work. Um, so anyway, it's kind of neat. I think we probably are going to want to get uh, a few of these regular thrusters, but first I want to, I think it takes eight fuel per second, right? So I'm thinking, should we do the 15? That's a little too few to have two thrusters um, coming off of it. Mass 0.25. Uh, the other thing is this has less HP than a regular thing. So we're going to just use these guys, I think, right now. And um, what I want to do, we're going to connect. We're going to use a regular thruster. It has a nice uh, thing. What we want to do is right now, if we click this here, I'm just clicking and dragging, it connects it to our main core. But to connect it to a specific fuel tank, I need to drop it on the fuel tank and then, um, then it will be connected here. So I think we'll do this kind of thing here. And these are going to, this is another thing you can, you can choose. You can activate it on W, which is pretty nice. Um, I would like to, however, put in another thruster going the opposite way. So let's rotate this around. Use just the mouse wheel to rotate that. Okay, connect it there, please. And there we go. So I want to have it a forward and backward thrust. But this guy, I want this to activate on S. So can I choose this? There we go. So when I press S to back up, i.e., uh, or i.e. to back up, pardon my, um, confusion of the word order uh, we're gonna press S and what we can do now is we can grab the whole thing um, if you grab oopsies, no there we go okay um, this thing is connected to these so if you if you click on this and press control copy then you can control V it elsewhere so there we are so I think we'll put in a few of these guys there like that um, and then I think I would also really like some side thrusters as well. So we're going to put in, I think we're going to get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to get rid of the backward one here. Um, and then just put this one in like this. But this one is only going to activate when I press D, right? D. Okay, so we're going to put in a couple of these guys, copy and paste so that this guy will turn pretty nicely, I hope. Um, all right, that would be that one. Let's put one down here on the other side for going with, this is gonna be A on this side. Let's copy and paste these guys. I like how there's this nice grid system that you can just sort of you know, align them if you want to. All right, so we have our forward motion. We have the side motion. I'm wondering if I should just, if I should make this one also W. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, we can also toggle the center of mass by clicking this little button here. 
Uh, and right now we're really heavy on, on the backside of the ship. <laughs> so we're going to try to add some stuff to the front part. Mainly we're going to want to add some, uh, what do you call it? Weapons. Right. So the weapons here, there are many, many different kinds, including there's even spikes just in case stuff runs into you. I've had a go just looking at the different things. The saw blade seems to be like a melee weapon. So I've, I've been looking, I've been enjoying like the bio bullets, the, um, sort of the plasma short beam laser, rocket gun tower, bullet sniper. The sniper has a very low fire rate. I remember the rocket gun tower is amazing. <laughs> Love the thing. It's so good. Uh, there's an EMP bullet sniper and we've got a bio sparks thrower. Uh, and then there's an EMP flame thrower. So we can try all of these different things out. we can test fly this thing. Uh, first of all, okay. So spikes, I wonder if I should do spikes might actually be good for like protecting the sides of these things. So let's shove some whoopsies. No, right there. And these don't need any kind of protection at all. Let's see, can I, can I, there we go. Turn it around. There we go. And we'll get another one, copy paste right there, just to protect the edges of those guys there. All right. Now each of these requires different amounts of energy to work. It's not telling us exactly, uh, but we need to just build proper amounts of stuff, right? So there's a polar solar panel recharges at 25 per second. This is five per second. That is also five per second. And these have different amounts of energy capacity. Uh, so it might be quite advantageous just to place down uh, quite a few large batteries. And then we need solar panels. Now, can we, we could cover the center of our thing with solar panels if we wanted to, just to get all the things going. Let's maybe put them under here. All right, so those are going to be our major energy uh, generating structures. And then we'll have, maybe we'll have large batteries attached to those. Let's have this one there. And then this one maybe here. Uh, and then we'll have our weapons attached to these guys. Uh, we have this one like that. Good. Okay, cool. This is all experimental, by the way. I have not played this for very long, um, but this is so far. I had I had a ton of fun with this so far, so it should be a lot of fun, right? So we're just gonna keep on, gonna just alternate. So we have two of these batteries attached to this panel, two to there, um, and that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, there we go, and then we can have eh, maybe just like a couple more of these guys just attached to the world there. Okay. Nice. We have a mass of stuff here. Now it's time to put in the weapons. I like, so I, I want to show you guys how all of these guys work here. Uh, we could have bio things maybe in the center. I think that might be the good, a good thing to do. Get this one attached there. Um, and I really like these uh, plasma rocket gun towers. These are so good. <laughs> these are really, really good. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this up this way. And then we're going to get another one of these plasma rocket gun towers. Basically, just attach them to each of these batteries. Okay. And we'll have those on one side. And then I can show you a different weapon on the other, time, other side. Maybe bio sparks thrower is kind of funky cool. So let's put that on this side. Okay. Get this one attached there so that each of these has their own energy source. Now I do not know if it matters if they're attached or not, but that's okay. We'll find out. We will hopefully find out. All right, we're going to put these spikes on the side here and let's copy this one because it's the correct rotation. There we go. Okay. So here we have our ship. Our center of gravity is right here. So it's going to be a little bit uh, tail heavy, but that should be all right. Let's do a test flight and see how this performs. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Oh my gosh. Okay. I apparently ran over something. I don't know what. Oh, 
Is my ship sort of tearing itself apart? It looks very unhappy. <laughs> I think it is. Oh my gosh, this is not great. Oh, those are my own components over there. It looks a little bit janky, I have to say. All right, this is backward, this is forward. It flies sort of, but yeah, we're gonna have to go back to the editor. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuff that's not happy. Um, I wonder if it's these guys. Are they too close? Maybe they're too close. Um, because, and they, these guys might also be too close. All right, so let's just delete a few of these. Because I'm thinking they might just be too darn close. Um, yeah, like this. Let's see if we can just move these guys out and if that will help because yeah that the tutorial does warn you I mean to be fair it does say um, where does it say this thing it says uh, the D -D -D. oh select a part and use a mouse wheel to rotate that's awesome um, it does say right here do not overlap parts as this res results in unstable physics okay so I overlapped stuff uh, this would be it right here, I think. Okay, let's just get rid of that spike for now and put these guys maybe a little bit more out there. Let's see if that's better. Nope, it still wants to tear itself apart. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, you know what it is? I bet it's these solar panels. I bet that's what it is. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's move these guys out and we're gonna move these. Okay, let's just shove those outward. Oh, we can actually move the entire thing. That is very cool. Can I move this this way? I can. I don't know if that's better though. All right. Um, yeah, that's not good at all. Definitely not good. We probably, let's move this guy. Let's get rid of that and get rid of this for now. Get rid of these spikes. Okay, so that was kind of a mistake on my part there. But it's okay, it will be better, hopefully, one day, <laughs> one day soon. All right, uh, right, so how do I wanna do this? We wanna get another solar panel and have these guys connected to the solar panel, I think. Let's get one of these. I want to copy. Oh, and these are also large blocks that you could uh, put in various places, I guess, to make this ship more stable, possibly. Um, or maybe it's armor because they have a lot of HP on them. So, you know what? Maybe I'll take these spikes off. I think they have, I don't really need spikes. They have 1000 HP, but this has like, well, it's the same kind of thing. Right, let's just take these off for now and we'll put regular locks here instead to protect our fuel tanks. In fact, we could do this kind of thing and make them longer. All right, let's go back to our weapons loadout. Let's figure this out, get a little bit better. So this one I want to be connected to there and then this one also connected to there. And let's get, let's copy this whole thing and then put this here, put the panel here, but we can move out the lasers and stuff like that. I think that works. Okay, I'm gonna copy this one and put this one down here and move these guys out like that. I think this is slightly better. Slightly, slightly better. Um, here's a fast recharge battery. Um, that may be, we could just slot it in here somewhere like just to connect it to there, connect this one to there. Aha, we have a slight misalignment. Okay, no, no, no. There we go. This one needs to move up there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move this one to that one and shove it in there. Okay, this is looking <laughs> a little bit better. <laughs> just a little bit better. Um, and now we wanna protect these guys definitely want to protect this area there okay nice now I would like to change out the weapons bit um, now do we want to try one of these we could try a um, the sparks thrower over here get rid of these guys uh, 
I want to move these guys up a little bit. We could. Let's get the sparks thrower. Connect it there. I think that should work. I hope it should work in any case. This looks a little bit exposed. Um, let me just copy this thing and paste it there. So we have our full amount of uh, charging battery things. This probably is in the wrong spot. Let's try that there. I don't want it to overlap at all at this point. <laughs> we wanna take care here. Uh, we could do a flamethrower. Um, I'm thinking let's just move this guy delete that. It's easier just to delete these things sometimes. Uh, whoops. Connect this one there. Connect that one to that one. And connect this one to there. Connect that one to there. Now this is mostly just so I can show you guys how, um, how things work a little bit and what weapon does what. Now these guys are the plasma rocket gun towers plasma ammunition they have rockets and homing rockets i love i love those red things they're awesome <laughs> they're really good you know what in fact i think i'm going to take off these i want to move have more more rockets rather than more uh bio pellet gun things okay that's better just kind of change of mind here there we go uh, these guys. Let's make these guys the other things. The flamethrowers, right? Just set those kind of like this. And we'll get another one. And that one is like that. Okay, just want to kind of make it a little bit symmetrical. I hope that this works. Let's go and do a test flight. Okay, we're not tearing ourselves apart. Oh, look at this. This is great. Okay, here we go. Let's shoot stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's my homing rockets. Okay, it's a little bit unwieldy. Just a little bit. We can fire in any direction we want. <clears throat> I feel like I could use uh, more, more stuff. Okay, we're, we're destroying things fairly easily. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I feel it feels a little bit heavy, I think. I think we want more uh, thrusters. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Back up, back up. Okay, so let's go this way. There we go. And it looks like we're, you know, some of our batteries are not charging very fast. I wonder if those are hooked up to the wrong thing. Are these guys, who are they hooked up to? Are they hooked up to here? Maybe not. I wonder if they weren't hooked up properly. Anyway, I think let's get rid of this block here and just add another let's add a small recharge tank here and add another thruster to that one over there and I think that one is going to be these are a thrusters this one I think we're gonna make this a W thruster yeah this one and this one are gonna be W's um, right. Let's get our other small recharge or our, our little fuel tank. Where are the fuel tanks? They are here. There we go. Put that one there nicely. Get another thruster. Okay. And this is going to be D. Look at how smart this is. Like it's near a D. So it made it a D. I love that. I did not copy and paste. I just dragged it on there. I love that this game is so so smart about stuff. Okay, let's try another test flight, see if that feels a little bit better. Okay, so I'm also looking at the other weapons here. So these are the, the green ones are kind of funky. Um, and then the blue ones are very short range, it appears like. But the red ones are really, really exciting. <laughs> red ones are so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think I want to try this on the planet. Oh my god, look at this. Look at how, how they, they, they are taking, they are charging for, I mean, they are depleting our solar panel energy things and our batteries. So, All right, let's get out of here. Do we want to add more stuff to the batteries? Um, man, it's hard. Of course, I would love to add more stuff, 
but I'm thinking, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but I think we should take... I don't really like these EMP flamethrowers. I'd rather have the sparks, to be honest, for stuff that gets close by. So let's change those out a little bit. And we'll see if we can, um, can conquer the first level. Okay, let's get this one this way. Um, all right, so here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't want to do that. Hold on. So I, one of the things I'm just, I'm thinking as I'm, I'm playing this, I'm like, you know, I remember how, how excited people were to show off their ships in Cosmeteer. And, um, and I can imagine that this game is going to be exactly the same. This is going to be really cool. So let's do a save and exit. So save and exit means you have created a new drone. And we can copy and call it, um, I don't know. Can I change the name here? Drone Mark 1. There we go. Alright, so this is our new drone. We'll go and launch. We're going to go, This remember, we're on the planet Kumi. So, uh, we're going to go. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. <laughs> I hope it's going to be okay. <laughs> right, so this is our ship. Whoa! Okay, right, we're attacked right... Wow, look at all those green sparks. Is that not awesome? All right, so here's the planet. Oh my god. Okay, there's there's one hive. It's important to destroy the aliens and also their hives. Okay, transmitter's been destroyed. Oh god. Right, so this is a little bit um, iffy. Just a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I don't know that those green things are doing much. But the cool thing about this game is you can have as many drones as you want. Any style you want. Oh my god, this is just, this is really hard to handle in this gravity. Oh no. I'm, I'm having a lot of issues with basically the ship falling to the ground. I don't think those spark things are doing much, to be honest, those green things. They're very decorative. Um, let's destroy these places so they don't spawn more enemies. Okay, those are dead. Okay, let's just recharge a little bit. Oh, maybe, maybe. Okay, recharge stuff, please. Okay, we're going too fast. I wonder if I should get, just like, limit my speed somehow with this thing, because it's just not... Not to, Oh, no, 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 no. Or find a way to hover. Now that's another option too. I have not explored the um, the logic just uh, very extensively yet, but there's ways to create completely autonomous drones. Destroy hives completed. Okay, so I think we're actually done. We're done with this planet. There's another hive there. <clears throat> okay, and now our ship is getting quite <laughs> beat up and destroyed. <laughs> I mean, you, it, it can get to the point where the whole thing is, okay, and there we go. We're going to die. We have, like, we have one weapon left. <laughs> and all the parts are falling off. It's so sad. <laughs> okay, so we did complete our objectives, which is good. Okay, here, let's just delete this thing with, with sparks. Can we get used with sparks? They seem to be kind of, like, a little bit random. And as you notice, you can actually destroy the world as well. See if we can destroy another one of these little guys here. No. So these sparks seem to go in the direction on which they're placed. Okay, we have no weapons now. Let's go click back to Nimbotus. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guess what we got? We got a bio bullet sniper, a brand new thing. Got, oh, this one tells us the attack speed, energy usage, damage, digging strength, shoot force, recoil, and accuracy. Pretty dang cool. Does it show us the other bits as well? Okay, so we completed both of our missions over here. All right, awesome. Let's just go and see real quick. Uh, oh, did it not save? Um, okay, we're going to call this drone. We'll just call it Mark, Mark 1. Mark 1. Ah, there it goes. I didn't press enter. Right. Um, and you can duplicate, so you can change stuff up. I think that's really awesome. Does it say if we click on this thing? Do, 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 do. There they are. Like, if we click this thing, 
Oh, there it is. If you mouse over, it tells you. Okay, so that's another good way to kind of compare stats on this. Anyway, um, I think this is uh, this is this might be a good point to end this episode. We have finished the first mission. Let's just uh, save and exit, and we can go back. All right, and we can go back to the galaxy. And as you see, we have explored new places. We have. Uh, Kuzera Sumo Arena, we've got Planet Jixu, we've got Planet Lariki, Planet Wife Phoebe, <laughs> these names, Planet Bessie, which we can explore in the next episode. So please go check out the Kickstarter page. The demo is right there. It's free to download. And, um, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.